Okay, let's talk about succinylcholine. While moonlighting with an ambulance company, you are called to see a 43-year-old male who is in severe respiratory failure due to status asthmaticus. He has an asthma attack. He's unable to speak, and he's quickly uh, tiring from laborious respiration. I know this feels I have asthma. With the paramedics at your side, you decide to perform a rapid sequence intubation at the scene before bringing the patient to the hospital. In order to perform proper endotracheal intubation, you will require the use of a paralytic agent with rapid onset. You ask the paramedic to administer a depolarizing neuromuscular blocker, and you begin to closely monitor the patient for possible bradycardia and other cardiac arrhythmias that may result from the administration of the medication. So let's talk about uh, succinylcholine. So the mechanism of action, it uh, de depolarizes the neuromus it's a depolarizing neuromuscular blocker that competes with acetylcholine to reversibly bind to the nicotinic receptors at the neuromuscular junction. Um, clinical uses, muscle paralysis for endotracheal intubation. Side effects, hyperkalemia, nausea and vomiting, muscle soreness, apnea, cardiac arrhythmias, bradycardia. So, succinylcholine used for intubations, muscle paralysis for intubations, and depolarizing neuromuscular blocker that competes with acetylcholine to reversibly blind, bind to the nicotine receptors at the neuromuscular junction.